Hi, I would like to talk about uh, what's big data and what's Hadoop and how to become Hadoop developer in three months. Uh, this is my favorite question and I've been asked from so many people about is it possible to become a Hadoop developer in three months or you know I just want to start my career in Hadoop developer or people are were asking me like I want to switch to Hadoop developer like is it really possible because I'm working professional and I have much time and stuff right so yes I do have answer for all those guys now and and first yeah anyhow as I said like so before I answer this question is it probably possible but it's yes but I'll explain you later like a minute later but, but before that I just want to tell you what's big data big data is nothing but when data is very big in volume and complex to process that's called big data so like you know so that's called big data people other people refer big data to kind of same but no the big data is the data it's just called big just because it's a large in volume and complex to process that's it all right okay great and now what's Hadoop Hadoop is not a big data Hadoop is a tool it's a framework it's an open source framework Hadoop is an open source framework to store and process the data, right? And I said, what's big data? Big data is the data which is large in volume. So volume can be stored. So Hadoop provides the HDFS to store that volume of data. And what's big data, other, other, other feature? It's complex to process, right? And Hadoop also provides a framework to process that data, which, which is complex to process. In earlier version, that's called the traditional traditional frameworks, right? Great. So that's Hadoop. So Hadoop is nothing but it's an open source framework to store the large volumes of data and to process that data. All right, that's called Hadoop. Now I guess you guys know what's big data and what's Hadoop. Big data is just the data. Hadoop is a framework, or it's a tool. All right, great. Now let's talk about. Is it easy to become Hadoop developer? I would say yes, for sure. Why not? If you're really interested and if you're able to learn and put some time on a weekly basis, for sure. The Hadoop, as I said here, as you guys see here, it's HDFS, right? So HDFS is the storage system, Hadoop distributed file system. Hadoop distributed file system, right? The data is distributed across file systems. That's called Hadoop distributed file system. And the, the processing engine or processing framework, that's called MapReduce. All right, we have some other um, uh, data processing such as like Spark and stuff, okay? And now we have like little versions like 2x, 2.x, like 2.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, okay? And now we have a uh, resource manager, resource manager, that's called Yarn, is uh, introduced in Hadoop 2.0 and so on, all right? So now for, for Hadoop developer, they have to know how to store the data in HDFS, that's Hadoop. And have to process the data using the MapReduce or the other two called Spark. We do have a couple components like uh, Peak and Hive, but we would uh, get to that soon. Okay, great. So, is it possible to become Hadoop developer in three months? Yes, absolutely. Why not? But the only thing required, you should have interest towards it. You should be willing to work hard for it and willing to spend dedicated time on a daily or weekly basis. All right. So yes, the, the time depends purely how much effort you're putting in on a weekly basis, right? So yes, definitely. I've seen guys who, who like, you know, who kind of learn all, almost all of the Hadoop stuff in a, in a month of time because he were actually he was actually spending literally eight to 10, 10 hours on a daily basis, and he was practicing. He's really sharp and stuff, right? But but I can't really say that one month for all. But yeah, our rate takes three months, and if you able to spend part time basis, then it takes six months to become Hadoop developer. All right? Yes, great. And what's actually as I say, Hadoop is a framework. It's not the framework of one tool. The framework of multiple tools, right? This is like high level picture. To have this Hadoop framework is you know what are the kind of components is HDFS it is flowing in like with the flume and scope data ingestion to in tools. And you have a Spark data is processing, and you have Yarn is the resource manager, and then we have uh, we have a Pig, and we have HBase and stuff like. Okay, let's go here. The next slide. Hadoop uh, component. What component actually this uh, Hadoop has? HDFS, as I said earlier, it's the uh, distributed file storage, right? It's called Hadoop distributed file system. And the Yarn is just resource uh, manager. It's just uh, as soon as uh, there's a job, then it kind of takes care of you know. 
where the resources are available, kind of skip, you know, kind of allocating your resource and getting the work done. All right, it works with the uh, MapReduce. MapReduce has a dedicated uh, data processing. I have a Spark is also called data processing, but Spark is very real time, it's very fast. MapReduce is kind of you know for batch processes and lot, not that fast as Spark. It's still fast, but not that fast as Spark. You know, big and high, big and high. Well, these are lies over the map reduce, and these guys are like SQL, SQL like scripting to process the data. Now, it's, we have HP, HTTP to access the like you know semi structured data on a real time basis. We have HDFS, HDFS. Sorry, um, yeah. So this HP is lies on HDFS. We have two keeper which can take care of managing clusters. Um, we are running so many of these jobs, right? So obviously we need a job scheduler, so that's called Uzi and data engine schedules, HDFS, large volume data, right? So how actual data comes into HDFS? So we have uh, data ingestion tools. Let's say you have, you have a bank, you have a data store of clients. You're right now you're storing in some RDBMS or Atelo Microsoft tools and stuff, right? Then you use the tools like Flume and Scope to inject the data into HDFS. That's what it is, that's what the tools. And as soon as they're on the tools, we'll be good at it in this practice and that's it. So yes, absolutely, guys. You should be able to spend at least four or five hours, uh, five hours on a daily basis to become a developer in three months, and you should be able to spend at least uh, like three hours to become in to become a developer in six months. If an adult become a developer in one two months, to spend a dedicated dedicated full time on a daily basis. That's pretty much it, guys. And yes, whoever wants to become a developer, please go ahead. Please go ahead, pursue it. A lot of companies now are implementing big data Hadoop and they have uh, they trying to see the value in the amount of money they're investing. That's called ROI, return on investment. If the company is spending million dollar on the project, the Hadoop, they are seeing a value and a lot of companies are adopting it. And yes, definitely in the future, almost all the companies will whoever have the like a big data, yes, they definitely go with the Hadoop. And and the obvious they see a lot of value because these days the last one year or so like like a lot of uh, data flowing in and like see right in the next five years down the line all the data will be line stream a lot of data will be all these collector sensors even the vehicles cars auto these are like uh, self-driving car they tend to a lot of data right so yes data is coming huge like, go ahead guys please go ahead and learn how to develop whoever interested but make sure you should have interest towards it just don't put short because pay the high salary no way it does not it doesn't work like that yes you get high high salaries but you know it comes with a hard work right so you should have interest towards it you should be willing to work hard for it then definitely yes you can become a developer and you can get more salary for sure and you know and you get a more value for the skill for sure all right guys thank you stay tuned with my channel if you're really interested and I will definitely post more, more videos how to become like you know the head of developer in three months or like more concept in general, like high level, to to get you in brief what exactly this concept is and stuff like that. All right, great guys. See you later. Bye.